Welcome to the 39th video of Bangkok Unmasked, the YouTube channel that helps you get the most out of your visit to Bangkok City. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. In this video, I'm going to discuss Thailand marijuana laws. Before I begin, a disclaimer. This blog post does not constitute legal advice and does not establish an attorney-client relationship. Let's get started. If you're thinking about visiting Thailand, scoring some weed, and then chilling in a hammock by the beach for a few days, think again. Note, despite what you saw in the movie The Beach, starring Leonardo DiCaprio, there are not fields of cannabis plants growing throughout the Kingdom of Thailand. This is pure myth. Cannabis is certainly grown, but very much on the down low. After living in Thailand for 19 years, I've seen the sum total of one cannabis plant. It was a seedling or baby plant, and might not have even been female. One other side note, if you ask a Thai for marijuana or cannabis, they probably won't understand what you're asking for. The drug is known as ganja, and it's pronounced gancha. So what's the legal status of marijuana in Thailand? I'm afraid to tell you that the production, sale and possession of any form of marijuana is currently illegal in Thailand. What are the implications of getting caught with cannabis in Thailand? Cannabis is listed as a Class 5 narcotic under the Narcotics Act, BE 2522, which is 1979. The penalties of being caught are as follows. Number one, from 2 to 15 years imprisonment and a fine of 200,000 to 1.5 million baht for production, importation or exportation. Number two, from 2 to 10 years imprisonment or a fine of 40,000 to 200,000 baht, or both, for disposal or possession, for the purpose of disposal. If the quantity is over 10 kilograms, the penalty is increased to a maximum of 15 years, and a fine of 200,000 to 1.5 million baht. Number three, imprisonment not exceeding five years, and or a fine not exceeding 100,000 baht, or both for possession. Number four, Imprisonment not exceeding one year and a fine of 100,000 to 1 million baht for consumption. Some good news. Thailand recently amended the drug laws to reduce penalties and ensure a more proportionate sentencing. The first amendments to the drug law were adopted and took effect on the 16th of January 2017. For the majority of people arrested with small quantities of cannabis, a fine rather than prison time is generally imposed. With this said, you could still end up serving time in a cell while waiting for courts to grant bail. You probably also won't be able to leave Thailand until the court case is concluded, which could take a while. Finally, there are also serious immigration consequences for marijuana arrest. In addition to being deported by immigration, there's also a high probability of being blacklisted from returning to the kingdom. In a recent case, which was covered on Thai Visa Forum, an 18-year-old British man was caught on one of the Thai islands with just 2.9 grams of cannabis. Not a lot. He was fined 2,500 baht in court and spent three days in the immigration detention centre. Not a place you want to visit. After paying the fine, he was deported and blacklisted from Thailand for life. From what I've heard anecdotally, people caught with weeds have paid police anywhere from 2,000 baht to 50,000 baht to make the problems go away. Thailand being Thailand, you never really know what will happen, and everything is on a case-by-case -case basis. Basically, I wouldn't advise getting high in Thailand, as it'll really suck if you get caught. So what powers do drug enforcement officials have? The short answer is a lot. Competent officials, i.e. almost certainly the police, have the following powers of stop, search, and arrest. Number one. Enter and search any place or dwelling place, providing they have reasonable grounds to suspect that there is a person or persons who they reasonably suspect to be involved in the commission of offences relating to narcotics on the premises. Number two, search any person or vehicle if there is reasonable grounds to suspect they are carrying or hiding illegal drugs. Number three, enter and search premises without a warrant having reasonable grounds for suspicion, and order a person or a group of people to undergo on-the-spot drug tests, 
under the provisions of the Fifth Amendment of the Narcotics Act. Number four, arrest any person involved in the commission of any offence related to illegal drugs. Number five, seize any illegal drugs or any property being used or intended to be used in the commission of offences related to narcotics or such that may be used in evidence. That's a lot. That's a lot of powers, more than a lot of the Western police forces. Finally, some potentially great news. According to CalSod, earlier this month a bill was approved by the Interim Cabinet to allow limited use of cannabis for medical purposes. The bill will decriminalise consumption of both marijuana and other Class 5 narcotics, including hemp, gratom and opium, to enable medical research to be conducted. This is the first, and admittedly very small, step towards availability for therapeutic uses. If written into law, it seems that the revised regulations might allow for cannabis to be sold legally over the counter, with a doctor's prescription. Unfortunately, recreational cannabis use is not under consideration. Interesting times. Anyway, that's it for this video. Expect a new video next week. For all you techies out there, this video is shot on a Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus and edited using Hitform Express. To check out details on arranging a bespoke Bangkok tour with experienced tour guides and luxury private transport, please click on the link in this video's description section. Finally, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel through the button below. Also, I'd like to hear from you if you have any comments on Thailand's marijuana laws. Maybe you have an experience of Thailand marijuana laws that you'd like to share. Please do reach out to me through the comments section of this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next week. Goodbye.